welcome back to Next Level Rides. In today's episode, you guys probably remember my 540 and my buddy Marcel. Hey guys. We're gonna be ripping the front PPF off of the vehicle and we're gonna be making it look a little bit better. One of the reasons we're gonna be replacing the PPF is because, now the car is dirty so you can't see it too, too well, but the front PPF is all faded. It looks very orange peeled. Yeah, it's basically just cheap old film that the dealership back in 2018, 17, what year this Yeah, so They just put it on, they just like saving money. So they just buy the cheapest stuff, throw it on there. And then after, you know, three years, it looks like this. So cheapest is not always best. Now, if there's one person that knows about PPF, it'd be Marcel. Now we're at My Auto. So I'll put a link somewhere up and around here. Um, definitely if you end up needing something PPF related, paint correction and so forth, they do a ton of different things. But without a doubt, he is the guy to be able to describe and go over exactly what's required for this. So the goal or final goal for the vehicle is to have it completely blacked out, including uh, headlights. So we'll potentially put a light smoke on those and the window trim or the brushed aluminum up and around. So dark, dark, dark and uh, it's gonna look pretty gangster. Okay, so first things first, we are going to be removing the old PPF. The safest way to do that is using a steamer, as this would not melt the paint, but it will get the film hot enough that it should easily just peel off. It looks like a big hookah. Yeah, is that a vape? No, it's my steamer. <laughs> That's definitely not a vape. You have to find that balance of heating it enough so it comes off, but not too much so it doesn't rip. Yeah. So if you're doing this on a car that's been repainted or like a panel that's been repainted, there is a very high chance that if the prep wasn't right on the paint, you will pull paint. And then now you're looking at thousands and thousands of dollars of extra labor and money spent. It's like old and yellow and just garbage. I will just spectate and cheer Marcel on. Yeah, how the turntables, hey. Go, Marcel, go. <laughs> so 3M is a brand, kind of like NOS, where everybody calls nitrous NOS. Yeah. Now, when everybody calls it 3M, the proper way they should refer to this stuff is PPF, right? PPF or paint protection from yeah. Okay. And I'm sure now it's not just a monopoly by 3M. There must be tons of different manufacturers. Oh, now. there is new manufacturers coming out like every year. Like you go to SEMA and they have a whole like building just for PPF and vinyl. Really? Yeah. So if you had to guess or put a number on it, how many different suppliers do you think there are now? I would say, I don't know, probably hundreds. Holy Not all of them are good though. Not all of them are good. No, I... There's I, lots of like China brand copycats, but... Oh. So if you had to pick top three for vinyl, what would they you be? Make PPF? See, I did it again. <laughs> for PPF, if you had to pick top three for brands that you like to work with. Um, top three, it's not even what we like to work with. It's more to the top three like leading ones in Canada currently are Expel, Suntech, and Stec or Aztec. As some people call it. This is extremely satisfying. <laughs> I'm waiting until it snaps and then I fall and ass over to fly away. away. As you guys can see, there's a load of glue left after the PPF removal. So it's gonna mist it, let it sit for a couple minutes so it loosens it up and we should just be able to um, wipe it off with a rag. After all the glue is gone, we're gonna give the car a wash, decontaminate the paint, clay bar it so it's smooth, as smooth as it can be and then um, it will be ready for film.
So now that about 95% of the glue is gone from the car and we gave it a nice hand wash, um, we are going to be moving it over to our PPF bay where the, where the, the lights are a little bit better and inspect it one last time before we start putting film on it. Okay, so before we install the film, after we remove the protection film off this hood, we can see that there is a pretty harsh line in between where the PPF was and where the paint is. It's just UV and, you know, years of driving the car. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a quick one stage polish wherever we're putting the film. So hood fenders to get rid of that line and to make sure that it's all nice and clear and as perfect as it possibly can be before we seal it in with some film. So let's get to it. You guys can already see the difference between how it was before and in the area where we buffed. There's barely any difference right here. So we're gonna do the rest of the hood now and we can cut the kits and start installing. Now that the hood is all prepped and everything, we're gonna be showing you in time what uh, Marcel's gonna end up, or how he's gonna cut it to put it on and do the thing, do and the thing and chef's kiss. Oh, that was dual chef's kiss. Ooh. If you guys have never been here, we're gonna go show you the front of uh, my auto and some of the eye candy that's sitting up front. It'd be kind of neat. All you see now is the industrial side and uh, we're gonna go over to the front. So this is our showroom. Um, most of the cars that you see in here are all rental vehicles, except this three-wheeler situation here. You guys can rent the Rolls Royce, our C8 and our Lamborghini as well. Currently the Rolls Royce and the Lambo are photo shoots and video shoots only. If you have a wedding coming up, birthday, graduation, anything like that. And the C8 is available for personal rentals as well. So you can come here, pick it up, drive it for a day, a weekend, a week, a month, whatever you like. Let's see if I can fit in this thing. Should I take my shoes off? Well, whatever you like. Your shoes are not big. And sometimes step on the seat, you have to. If I accidentally change. break the, the turn signal, does that cost a fortune? Um, this thing is only like 80 grand, so you're good. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> whoa. I need room for the berries. I have to like slouch. If I sat all the way up, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that's why there's the bar there. I just yeah. happened to hit where it's not. Oh, geez. Okay. So for male reasons, this is not comfortable. For larger male reasons, my love handles are being squeezed in an inappropriate way. I feel like the car should buy me dinner first. Hey, Tony, the thing is on fire. You should get out of it quick. It's on fire. It's on fire. Get out. Get out. You're going to burn alive. <laughs> Oh no, I think he's dead. <laughs> we out! <laughs> okay, so now that Tony's safe from the fire, let's come to the back. I will show you guys where we do all of the plotting and getting the kits ready for cars. Most new cars have, is what we call kits for them. So we don't actually touch your vehicles with a blade. It's all computer cut. We just put them on there and they fit and they're done, so there's no scratches, cuts or anything. So this back here is our plotting room. Um, we have a plotter, all the film, it's a bit of a mess, computer. And um, yeah, we'll show you guys how that process goes in a second. All right, so on this computer program, which is called Core, we have selected 2017 BMW 5 Series, M Sport, it's obviously a sedan. And if we click on here, you guys can see all of the body pieces for these cars. You have your A pillars, roof line, door cups, rocker panel. Basically the full car could be covered by computer cutting everything. So I just selected a couple of the pieces we're going to be doing on Tony's car. I'm just gonna click here, go on the cut board. And then this is where you see the pieces kinda pulled up on this screen where 
This is the width of your film that you can adjust. And then you have to basically play Tetris with the pieces to try to maximize the used area as much as you can. So we're gonna do that right now and then show you guys how that looks. Okay, so now that we got the kits pretty much ready, we're gonna start cutting with this plotter. So I am going to grab the 30 inch roll. Basically just throw this roll of film back here. And then now we click the magic button and just watch it happen. So now that it's done cutting, we'll make a light cut over here. And then this is what we call weeding. Basically whatever comes off is just garbage and whatever stays there goes in the cart. There we go. So we have the two fenders, we have eight pillars, we have the roof line on here. Okay, we're gonna go back to the car, wet the panel. This is a good time to kind of double check with your hand, make sure there is no glue, no residue of anything. And we just walk it over to the car. Perfect. And now that this is on there, you just basically hop on their foot, do 220 kilometers an hour, and it would just like suck right onto the car. Done. I'm trying pretty hard to be quiet here and not <laughs> giggle and laugh. So as you guys can see, I have two bottles here. The blue one has soapy water. The red one has water mixed with isopropyl alcohol in it. So you use the soapy water to make it slide and glide and make it movable. And use the, you use the alcohol water to basically chase the soapy water out and make the pieces stick. So right now that soapy water, you can see how it moves. You line it up with this little vent. Spray some alcohol in there. Squeegee it, and now it doesn't move anymore. Now with used cars, sometimes it's tough to make this invisible, the film, because you have rock chips, other little damages, and obviously you're putting a see-through film on the panel. So small stuff you will still see that you would see otherwise anyways. So it's always the best idea that you get a new car, basically drop it off the same day with us, and We'll protect it and then you can safely drive it after you don't have to worry about it. Now that we have finished the protection side of things on Tony's 5 Series here, we are going to be putting some vinyl wrap on his chrome window trims over here to get that murdered blacked out look. And then I think we're also going to put some headlight tint on it, some light tint, and then we should have a murdered out 5 Series. Holy, this purple. I love this purple. So this is paint protection film that you can use to change the color of your car. So not many shops do it in the city, but if you guys are interested, we do it. There's about 70 some colors available. 
hmm. currently on the market? One series in that purple. <laughs> and they have off. that, so it's called obsidian purple. They have a red and they have a green, which is... Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't want to hear this. So we're using vinyl on these door trims because they're a lot more easy to mold around edges and tuck it to get that full coverage look. Now that the back door is pretty much done, just the finishing touches here and then uh, you guys will see a little montage of the car being completely blacked out and done and all nice. So stay tuned. To give everybody a reminder, this is what the car looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. So we did, we removed the old paint protection film of Tony's car here. It was very faded, yellow, didn't look good. So we replaced it with brand new film on the whole front end for a seamless finish. We blacked out his door trim, which was chrome before. Now it's all black for that murdered look. And we also put a super, super light tint on his headlight with um, stack paint protection film. It's like a two-in-one combined product that darkens your headlights while it protects it from rock chips as well. So I don't know, what do you think? How, how does it look? Yeah, it looks really good. It quiets the whole front end down. Now, if I haven't mentioned before, what I'm aiming for with this and what I've wanted to do for the longest time is have a completely blacked out murdered vehicle. Now that may be old analogy, but essentially every single piece of this vehicle black. So dark tint, black car, black headlight, black emblem, black, just black, black, black all over. Next steps will be M5 competition rear diffuser. I'm gonna get uh, quad carbon exhaust tip, so very similar to an M5. It's gonna get lowered on HRE, no, not HRE. It's gonna get lowered on H&R springs. And I do have some three-piece wheels that are gonna go for it or go on to it. They're gonna be three-piece, 20 inch. I believe the fronts are nine and a half, rears are 10 and a half, roughly with the tires. So it's gonna look the part without a doubt. That I think will wrap up the package very nicely. I really like the final result. So a big shout out to my buddy Marcel at My Auto for helping us out with uh, this project here. Yeah, for sure anytime. And if you guys wanted to, um, you guys can feel free to reach out to us. Um, we do a lot more than what we did on Tony's car. And if you guys come by, ask for me and mention Next Level Rides and you guys will get 10% off any service all across the board. Window tinting, paint protection film, vinyl wraps, wheels, tires. We basically do it all. So yeah, just hit us up. Yeah, that's awesome. And so you guys have all the contacts. We'll we'll put all the social media and the website and every which way to reach them uh, down in the description. I love the final result. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. What are you doing? Are you having a seizure or what? <laughs> I don't know. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should we put a Pedro? Oh, are you gonna be in this or is it just gonna be me? Just... Oh shit, no, that's gonna be in the video. Please tell me you got that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw the red, I saw the red.